Hey everybody, it's the Costume Jeweler. We're headed into the Kimberly Home Thrift Shop. We're gonna look for purses, jewelry, knickknacks, whatnots, and doodads for resale on YouTube and eBay. So click that notification bell and click all so you don't miss out on live buy it nows and auctions of jewelry and purses on my channel. Subscribe to the channel and hit a thumbs up for this video. We're gonna see if they've got anything. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. I hope that y'all had a happy Halloween yesterday and you enjoyed that show last night. The makeup was great. It's very hard to take off today, but we did get it off. It's going to be lots of Christmas stuff probably out, and it's a pretty big store. We're looking for smalls also, so we've started selling smalls. So we are going to look at a lot of different things. Looks like they're having a sale on Halloween goods, too. I have this exact same piece right here that I used for just like a um, cheese tray I thought that was a gourd at first yeah. they do have jewelry and purses here also so I first walked in the door just now had my eye on this or had my eye on this we're gonna see I think this would be a great succulent planter a little bit of gold engraving. I think we'll get that. So these little guys don't have any prices on them, but I'm going to try to figure out what they cost. So these are porcelain. I don't know if these are Christmas or not, but they are porcelain, so we're going to get those also. Look at these little shoes. We should plug it in and see how bright it is. Yeah, but it's got stuff. Porcelain hands. Looks like the nails are kind of painted. This Christmas piece right here. I don't think it's that right, huh? This is Mark 1998 on the bottom. See if you can see it. it's marked Lomax 1998. Okay. Is this another little porcelain Santa Claus? Look at this. Yeah, it's kind of like those other three. So no marking on it, but it is porcelain. But it reminds me of those other three little guys I just showed you. There's not any markings. But I like selling these little characters like this. These are very heavy candlestick holders. They look, they feel like they're made of pewter. You're just going to see that they're kind of dusty, but that's okay because we will clean them up. Let's look at the detail. So I'm going to buy those, and we're going to have those in a future sale also. Look at the wings. Then you put your candle right there. So we are going to get those two. I love those. Actually, 
I'm not sure what the Sky Club is. Okay. So I don't know if you put a flower vase in this or what you would do. Get this little hook right here. I love seeing these things. I don't know why they don't do this now. It's the bronzed shoes. Those would make great planters, succulent planters also. I don't know if those would sell well or not, but you know what? I'm going to buy those and try to sell those on the next show. Looks like they used to have a picture frame behind it, but again, you can use this as a planter. I think it'd be great. I haven't looked up the idea of the bronze shoeing, but I think it's probably maybe 70s, 80s type thing, 60s. So we do look at purses, jewelry, knickknacks, doodads, whatnots and things like that for resale. These are Wedgwood. Look right there on the back. So Wedgwood. I think we're going to pick all these up. I'm going to show you. So lots of Wedgwood. I kind of thought this was Wedgwood when I saw it. Okay, we done? Can we go back to the back? Then you had this lion head planter. So different scenes around the edge. So I think the two we're going to pick up instead of all of them. I'm going to pick this one up. I'm going to get this hard one. So we have started selling smalls, so we are going to do that. Look at this one. $17.95 to $19.95 by Centenary Josiah Wedgwood. So here is the founder. And we're going to get this one too. This is a pretty big plate. No markings on that one. Who's this little guy right here? I like the costumey type pieces. So this is a decanter. So you have close the detail of the painting. This place always has lots of trinkets. That's a pretty color blue there. Very detailed ceramic piece. So there's two of them and they're both the same. this one too look at this so it's porcelain probably hand painted and then inside you have this little rose that's nice so I picked up a hat like this the other day this is a little bit bigger I really like this a lot so I think we're going to pack that one up also. 
so you can set it either way. I forget what people told me they are used for, so if you know, comment below. But I think we're going to get that. How can you not have a cute clown like that sitting on your shelf? And on top of it being cute, it's hand painted Fritz and Floyd from 1978. So we're getting that also. This is another great priest right here. This is made in China or in England. It's a bone china, Royal Stewart, made in England. We're gonna get that. It's a cute little piece. You can store your rings and things like that in it. Look at this ceramic beauty here. That is great. And that is a napkin holder. Oh my gosh. We are getting it. That is the cutest napkin holder ever. They're putting out more stuff right now. And when I say stuff, I'm talking about some layers. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I think that's a Christmas ornament. It can be that or a salt and pepper shaker. Look at that. That's so awesome. Two sides to it. We're getting that. You'll see it at a future sale for sure. Love, love, love it. And this is a cute box if you've got the initial JSE. Love the straps on it. And look at these. These look handmade for sure. There's four plates. And look at this. This looks like Fenton, maybe. It looks like it's missing something, though. And look at this cute, cutie patootie little shoey. That didn't even rhyme, did it? But I tried. Look at that. We're getting that one, too. It's way too cute not to get. Not sure about that brand of this box. Cute porcelain. Not sure if that's popular. They've really got a lot of cute stuff here today. Another planter. These, these cute little planters are awesome. Here's the back of it. She had detail the face. I think we're going to get it. We're buying more of the smalls today than we are purses and jewelry. And then what is this little jar for? Look at this. So it's only about two and a half inches tall. I don't know if it could be used as a honey jar or, or what that is, but look inside. So you have this little spoon right here. So if y'all know what this is or what it could be used for, I don't know if it's a salt, you know, for salt or what it is. But I don't think I can pass that up. And look at this little cutie. He looks old too. Another planter. I don't know if I'm going to get that one or not. It's cute, but I'm not sure. We can't get everything, can we? And there's the mark on that beauty. I 
can never have too many masks. How many of y'all probably hang things like that on your walls at your home if you collect masks? Look at this. There's another vintage planter. I don't know what year these could be. Is this a perfume bottle? What is this? Or is that just a huge, it's not too super big, but a decanter maybe? Or is that just a large perfume bottle made in Italy? I don't know. I don't think it's perfume. I think it's a small decanter. Usually those are, what, 60s, 70s? And this face is one of those that I've told y'all before. Sometimes it's sterling silver. The inlay is. You just have to look for the mark. Sometimes it's not. If it's sterling, I'll get it. I'm going to show you up close. We're looking for the mark on it to see if it says sterling anywhere. Or 925. I'm going to show you up close. That way you'll remember this detail that I'm talking about. But sometimes it could be right in one of the leaves. But I have found these before that are sterling. Still silver plate if it's not. This little guy, oh, I was hoping he was probably metal and not ceramic. So this is acrylic. It looks like it might be vintage. I think we're going to get that one also. Nearly missed this. Look at this. Not this one. This right here. Milk glass hands. Look at that. And guess where this is going? Home with CJ. And y'all will see this in a future sale for sure. Look at that. Milk glass. Love that milk glass hand. It's a beautiful candle. Look at a few purses since we're right here on them. This looks old. Old bucket bag of some sort. It's called Trades of Hope. They have a few bags, not many. What is this little guy here? I don't know if this is Fenton. This might be Fenton also. This is 1983 on the bottom. That might be Fenton glass. What do y'all think? Empty pockets. We'll call that empty pockets. This is a very old Florida ashtray. I'm going to zoom in on it and show you up close. Look at this. I don't usually sell ashtrays, but this one's old. Very detailed. And it's made by Sun in Japan, so we're going to get that one. Along with the little Fenton guy. His name is Empty Pockets. This purse looks vintage, but it's uh, torn up inside, so we're not going to get this one. But it does look vintage. 
We're going to try to figure out what he put out real quick. Let's look at this beautiful egg. Very detailed. And look at that. We are getting it. That is definitely old world. And on the bottom, let's see what it says. Okay. Off. Me half off today. Is it okay? We're getting this also. Look at that. And I have decided that we are getting the rest of the wedge wood. We did get all the rest of the wedge wood for sure. For sure. That's beautiful. Right here, too. Look at this little guy right here. He looks like jade. But it's not, it's acrylic. Still pretty cool though. egg we are taking one more look at the home decor on this side to see if there's anything that we could pack up for resale we've got a lot already though so what I've got so far is right there what are these right here bookends those aren't old. Thought they were at first. That's plastic. We're gonna look through here also. Look how beautiful. That is heavy green glass. No, it's not. It's got liquid in it. Forget it. I thought it was green glass, but it's not. We're going to look through here, too. They also have home decor items throughout the store. So not just on those shelves. Uh-oh. We've got more of these little guys right here. How many of y'all would use these for bookends, even though they're not, you know, they're not your baby's shoes? Would y'all actually be interested in buying things like that? If so, let me know in the comments below. And these right here are ceramic. I saw that, I was hoping you'd drop it. <laughs> Not drop it, but put it back. <laughs> hey, when you see it, you know what you want, right? The store has great stuff today. Now that I'm selling smalls, I'm buying more of them. You just never know what you're gonna find though. It's a pretty big store. Looking at the jewelry brooches now. I don't know if the Halloween's on sale or not. You've been married to her for a long time? That's a cute pen. I'm not sure what it says on the back. That might be something special. I'm not sure. I'm going to get that. So we're going to get that one too. Look at the jewelry. They don't usually always have a lot of jewelry here. Sometimes you will find nice purses in here. Oh my gosh, this is this real? I don't think that's real. So I don't know how to tell on these either. 
The fabric doesn't feel thick. Mm, I bet it's not real. Thank you again for supporting our baby. She was the Let's see if we see any vintage Thanksgiving items. look down through here this is not where they're going to have trinkets but you never know what they might have so you definitely want to look it's kind of cool that this piece cost $90 or is on for sale for $90 beautiful dragon on it we may get that one made in France that bowl's beautiful too I don't know what you'd use that for though just for home for decoration and that's a beautiful cloisonne style home decor. But you can see there's lots of stuff. So we're going to go check out. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. Subscribe to the channel, like and share. Hit that notification bell, click all so you don't miss out on live buy it now. It's a purses, jewelry, and smalls on my channel. And hit a thumbs up for this video. And until next one, y'all take care. This is a cute piece though, look at this. Ethel Gifford, I never ever heard of her. This looks old. I don't know that these normally sell, but you could use it as a planner, but we're gonna take a chance on that. So on that note, I will see y'all at the next live buy it now auction or video, bye-bye.